Coca-Cola racing family. I uh, invite all you fans to pop the top on a Coke Zero 400, sit back and watch live on TNT the Coke Zero 400. Are you ready? Gentlemen, start your engines! Farno. We are underway. Green flag racing from Daytona. I guess the bump drafting has started going into turn one with the two <laughs> right tucked up under the 24 there. Well, this is the best to handle it. The car's going to handle all, all night long. long. You know, that's amazing for the first, I guess, probably 15, 20, 30 rows, or excuse me, for the first 10 or 12 rows, these guys are still side by side. Nobody tried to go change lanes. Nobody tried to go the outside. They're Boy, being pretty patient here the first couple of laps. I'll tell you what, Kurt Busch could not get any further up underneath the rear end of Jeff Gordon's car without picking the rear end up. Well, I think he's getting a little bit of help there from Denny Hamlin because Denny Hamlin's got that front bumper laid on the rear bumper of Kurt Busch, and that's why I believe he got loose there coming out of four. You can see him pushing wow, right there. He got loose Kurt again. For it. And he, got pushed, he got pushed down there. He yeah, got pushed down there. That's a good call. Clear high one inside. Then he told me he expects his car to be extremely loose for about 10 laps. But that helps him at the end of the run where they feel like they're better than a lot of cars. A lot of people in the garage area said this morning that 11 car, the one to watch out for. Speaking what? of the garage area, Dave Blaney is taking the 66 to the garage. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm listening to that report, and they're talking about the two car being able to go low, high, wherever he wants to go. Let me tell you something. That two car was going wherever that 11 car wanted him to go <laughs> because he was pushing him there. Oh, we got some trouble down the back stretch. Two cars, including Mark Martin, sliding through. Spun us down the back. The inside of the track in our first caution of the night now. Spin on the track, Ralph. Yeah, we do. It's Casey Mears, the same spot, actually, where we saw Mark Martin. Caution's out, Todd. We spun off a two. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh wow. man. He had man. it saved. He had it saved. I can't believe Left he jumped off the brake. New leader, Denny Hamlin, back out front. Whoa, whoa. look at Kyle Busch stuck to the bottom. That's Denny's a Denny's got to go down move. there and block that. He's gonna, I don't know if he's blocking or is he trying to get that push because Kyle was coming. And if you can time it just right, look up in the mirror, which you drive these cars as much in the mirror as and you do out the windshield. You see a guy coming, you want to get up in front of him so you can get that push. Matt Kenseth had dove to pit road. He was running third at the time, and now the third will, caution is now out. This will be perfect for him. I saw something fly off yeah. up in the air. It's off of Sam Hornish. Was that a tire? Looks like it. That was a Looks tire. Looks like a right rear. Yeah. Two, one, stop on the side. Oh, oh wow. Stremme taking out that right front tire. There's Big a crash on the race track oh on goodness. the back stretch. Big problems going down towards oh, turn number three. A lot of cars not involved. Not Rudiman is in that. Gilliland is in there. Boyer. You see the 43 of Sorensen, and the 83 of Vickers. There's Rudiman. Dale Jr. caught up in it as well. Smoke just pouring out of the 88. I'm not even sure where this one starts. You see the 12 car. Wow. He gets tapped. Yeah. He gets into the back. It's, it's like Casey gets in the back of him. Yeah. And that's what happens with these cars sometimes. If you don't, if you're not dead straight when you're hitting the guy in front of you bump drafting, you're going to turn him straight into the wall. And watch Bumper Junior. Clear. He can't do nothing. He's holding it straight. Runs into something. There's nothing you can do about it. It's Most of it's luck. If you get through one of these. Jamie McMurray is coming down pit road because they said they have a tire issue, obviously. So now they're bringing him in. The plan to give him four tires and fuel. On the board, on jack the man. Board. Oh, takes out the jack man. So we got the double zero in the wall. Oh, clear Rudiman. down, clear down all the way down. And he's been kind of having some issues. I, I saw him. On the outside there, outside. We're right front blue. How about that yellow I'm line not down sure. there? How about that people. yellow line? You can't be ducking down there and gaining spots. I don't, I don't. Crossing that line ah. and doing that. Okay, now, if, if the 11 that. didn't go below the yellow line, there would have been some contact there, but I, I don't know. <laughs> You're not going to go there? No, I'm not going there. So oh, there we go. Go. Marty. Kurt wow. Bush and Kurt. David Reagan. Oh. There goes the splitter. I thought they were going to get together a little earlier. They almost had a big problem. Yeah, they they waited a little while right. longer, and then finally. Well, we're just going to add 
Jeff Burton to that mix because he picks up one. And Tony's got him jacked up coming through there. I mean, he's sideways and backwards, it looks like. But, I mean, you know, we're back to the same three nice or four job. cars four right there in the top five. There's the 11 on him. Two car opening back to two by two. Stewart back at the front. Now Jeff Burton looking for a place to settle in. Jimmy Johnson gets a pretty good run on the high side. And there's Montoya right in the thick of it after being a lap down earlier. After being a lap down and out through the grass on the back stretch. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, I, and I think that, you know. He's got that free pass twice tonight, yeah. Kyle. It, but in a lot of ways, that's a tribute to this car in some strange way. You know what I mean? Oh, oh some Jeff must have Burton, the burden. Burton, some have the burden. Tire? He had contact with somebody. Adam, is that a tire going down on the 31? Oh, six in the wall. Oh, Reagan. He just came on the radio, Ralph, and said, I have a tire going down, leading a moment ago, and now the free-for-all through the field. The crew is ready, and Jeff Burton going to have to make an unscheduled pit stop, taking him out of the running tonight. Too bad. There's got to be another caution, man. They've been thrown in every 25 laps, even though stuff's happened. I don't see this thing going to the end. These guys are communicating, running second and third. And what they're doing is they're comparing what their cars are doing. You know, you heard him say, I don't, there's no way I see this thing going more than a few laps. Oh, and, and he there's was right. the caution. There it is. Thank you, Kyle Busch, for your commentary on that one. There's no way I see it going much farther than <laughs> yeah. this because it's been happening. Seventh caution the by the caution light down the back, I guess. And of the guys up front want four tires and no changes. Tony Stewart once again, seven for seven tonight for that 14 team. They win the race off pit road. No changes for Stewart. Also, no changes for Kyle Busch. Four tires for all these cars up here on this end of pit road. Green flag is out, and we're back at it at Daytona. He got a good start right there, too. Yeah. Now Jimmy Johnson, though, he's pushing that 18 car, and that will make a huge difference coming off of two. You saw him coming right up to the back bumper there. It looked like more like a shove as they came off the two. Here they come down the back stretch. Johnson drops to the bottom two. Oh, yeah, Jimmy's got clear, a good. Clear well, 18 got down there, but I was going to say the, the two strongest cars right now are right there. 14 and 11. So now Hamlin's going to have to figure out, well, what am I going to do get by him? Oh, oh there, there it go. is. Scott Speed, A.J. Allmendinger. Still outside. Stay in the gas. Scott Speed in the Red Bull number 82. And you just get to this point in the race and you can just expect it because yep. everybody is trying to protect their position. Getting ready for the restart. You're going to see some hammering on bumpers here in a minute. Well, already you're seeing it. Look at them. They're already pushing each other. Here we go. The green flag is in the air. Four laps remaining. I like these double file restarts, man. Especially, especially like this. Four or five laps to go. And there's four strong. Oh, wow. Jimmy oh, Johnson, oh, W11. I did him. not expect he that. He just left him. Well, Damlin's going to slide down in there. But it's almost like with these cars, once you pull down behind the car, you don't go anywhere. But the car in front of you, he doesn't go anywhere either. Both cars just fell in line. Here comes Kyle Busch. He's got him, and Tony cuts off him. Now what's Tony going to do? You're clear. And now, now the question is, White Tony's flag. got no help because these guys are running too wide behind him. Right. So now it's man on man right now. Oh, I don't think you it's going to. It's going to get. It's going to get wider here in a minute, I believe. Here comes Johnson in behind Stewart. Is it enough? Hamlin's high side up there by himself in the 11. First lap led all night by Kyle Busch, and it's the money lap, and it might be all it takes. It really now, is. what does Johnson do to help yeah, Stewart? Doesn't matter. It's Kyle Busch is going to hog all the racetrack, he, or now. he should. He's mirror driving right now. Tony Stewart trying to get to the bottom. He may get turned for mirror driving, but he's going to be mirror driving. Oh, Stewart's my. trying he to squeeze right there, in there. See that he's hand? shoving to the bottom. Oh, that he just wanted to touch him, man. Just wanted to touch him. Can't get him to the high side. side. Here he comes. No, there he, he turns him. He turns him. Bush in the oh, wall. Here comes Stewart to the checkered Tony flag. Stewart. And another oh, car gets in the backside. It's Casey Kane. And they're scattering oh, everywhere as they come to the line. Some of these guys hit hard, man. Oh, and one of them was Kyle Busch. They're still hitting hard. Man. That's an ugly finish. 
and incredible. incredible. But that was 100% rear driving, that and that's it. what you have. To, that's, that's what Kyle Busch had to do. That, that's what Kyle Busch had to mirror drive. Tony Stewart had to had put to the push car him around right. and stick it to stick the car where we saw the same thing at Talladega when when with the 09 car with Keselowski. He stuck his car in there. He drove it. He put it where it needed to be, and that's the way it was. If he could have just put his bumper to him just a little bit and got him and loose split him up. and slid him up the racetrack, you see him right here. He drives right to that corner right here. When he makes that turn, boom, I want to be right on that 18's corner and force him up the racetrack right there. Okay, now, now Kyle's blocks, hanging on, he blocks, but he's going to he block. Comes back, and it just ran himself he over blocked, the 14 car. And here's what happened. Just like we talked about at Talladega and everybody talked about, block me once. That's okay. Block yeah. me twice, you're going up in the grandstands yeah. or you're going in the wall. And that's what happened. The 18 made two swipes at him. One to the inside, one to the outside. Yeah, this one's fair right here. This one, this one's not you kind of had it coming. Yeah, he had that one coming. When you cut back across the, the hood of somebody after you've blocked him once, and Tony, once he blocked, Tony put the bumper on the outside of him. He was there. Watch the night. I think it's Watch a the night car. Gets takes right a in the hit. back. Well, I mean, right into just him. clobbers Kyle Busch. And these guys... And it's a 31 just, car tour, yeah. but these guys hit hard right Logano, here. When Logano, these guys, finally, his luck ran out. He yeah, just but you see these guys come on, going across the racetrack. This is a, this is ugly down here. Trying to bump you. Stay on this yellow line. Chase up, coming up high. There you go. Oh. Pick the rear tires off yeah. the ground. Now watch this next hit. Oh, oh man, wow. that's a 180 mile per hour oh, shot oh, right wow. there. Man, that was brutal. You can tell he's upset. You see the officials, they want to take him to the hospital. They want to take him to the infield care center. I would be upset, too. You had a shot at winning this race. This happened. You know, they're forcing him to go. They should force him to go. Yeah. You need to go to the infield care center. That's how simple it is. But at the same time, you know, this is probably the best thing for Kyle Busch at this time. Don't say anything. Because whatever you say, there's fans out there that love you. There's fans out there that hate you. And the ones that hate you are going to use it against you. So just keep your mouth shut. The third time for Tony Stewart in a points-paying race here at Daytona, but none more dramatic than that. Wow. Tony, tell me about that last lap. You sat in the car for a while just kind of thinking about things. <laughs> well, I don't know that I was real proud of that, but it's I don't know what else I could have done there. I mean, I went where I had to go, and, and he went where he had to go. It just uh, you hate seeing a guy that's been up front all day, and especially a guy that helped me the whole race. So it wrecked like that. I, I don't like winning them like that. Well, is it more of a product error by just doing what they needed to do? Well, yeah, it is. I mean, but you, know, you still don't like it. I mean, it, you know, you kind of forced in that position. But, uh, you know, I, I made my move to the outside, and I got up to his right rear tire. And then when he went to block us, we were already there. So, uh, but it still doesn't mean you like it, like to win them that way. That's not the way you want to win these things. Uh, we had a good car all day. You, you know, you just you feel bad because you want him to have a good day too. But uh, we weren't going to give it to him. But I don't. I, if I did something wrong, I'm sorry. I don't think I did. But I mean, I, I was I was out there when he moved. So I don't know. I, you just feel bad about it. That's not the way you want to win these things.